Moving next, we now have something called as note values. I know we have a lot of wonderful students in our class. I mean, my batchmates are awesome. So I'm going to highlight the most important parts, which is whole note, half note, quarter note and eighth note. All right. Even on the right side, we are now going to talk about note values. Note values are basically for how long you should actually hold a note. To begin with, we have got something called as a whole note, which is majorly held for four beats. And if I had to count at the same time, it would sound like this. One, two, three, four, and then I leave. All right. It's very simple. I just held a note for four beats. It cannot get more tougher than that. Then we have two beats. All right. Two beats, which is also called as a half note. By the way, this is for the lower level kids. All right. If I ever had to teach somebody who was in the first standard or the second standard or the third standard, I would do this. So then we have the half note, which is basically held for two beats. One, two, and then I leave. It's as simple as that. I just held for two beats. And then after that, two K baad, you've got one. Okay, one beat, which is also called as a quarter note. And where I just hold it for one beat. One, and then I leave. It's as simple as that. Now, smaller than one is something that you call as a eighth note. Basically, it's the half of one. OK, so I have to just hold it and leave it very quickly. So it's like very quick and it's supposed to be more shorter than the quarter note. All right. So that was four beats. One more time. All right. Two beats and one beat and share a beat. This is not share a caviar. Why is it written as share a beat? These are all stuff from Google. All right. Moving next, we have note values for grown ups. OK, one more time. For all my wonderful batchmates, I will highlight the important stuff. OK, and right. So we have got semi brief, minim, crotchet and quavers. All right. And it can also be called as four beats, two beats, one beat. And it's not share a beat. Yeah, it's just half a beat. All right. So we have got semi brief, which is once again held for four beats. So it's like one, two, three, four. Then you've got your half note as in the earlier slide and in this slide you have called it as a minimum so it's held for two beats so this is like one two and then you leave it then after that you have got the crotchet beat which is just held for one beat so it goes like one and we are done and then after that you have got a quaver beat which is just held for half of a beat okay and that is more quicker one all right so that's more quicker than your crotchet beat so i hope this part is very easy it's just the holding time which is actually given. Moving next, I have got note rest. Wow, note rest. Now, what are note rest? Before I can actually come to note rest, let me tell you that music is not just always playing. You should have both playing time as well as silence in your music. Like in some intervals, you should keep silence. And for keeping that silence, we have a topic called as note rest where you've got a rest for four beats, wherein you actually don't play anything for four beats. So let me demonstrate this small thing, OK? Playing this part for you, where I'm first playing for four beats, then I'm not playing for four beats, then again I'm playing for four beats. F for example, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, it's very nice and very simple. I just left four beats as silence. Moving next, I have got something called as a minimum rest, and this is for two beats, and this sounds like this. So I'm going to leave the alternate note to be silenced. OK, so I've got one, two, three, four, one, two. All right, you see how I kept a rest or silence for two beats. Moving next, I have now got the crotchet rest. The crotchet rest is just there for one beat, so it just goes like, and if I once again, if I've just got to play alternate beats and alternate rest, this is what it should sound like. One, two, three, four. Awesome. All right. Moving next, we have got the quaver rest, which is smaller than a beat. Finally, I get this correct image from Google and it's half a beat. All right. So if I had to play this, this is played a little bit faster and the alternate notes I will not be playing. OK, this is an example of it. One. Right. I did not play it for four times. I played it for eight times, but four times was being played and four times was basically silent. So this is no rest. Moving next, we have got no rest versus values. This is just the indication between when you are playing and when you are remaining silent. So out here you have actually got an under. By the way, this is how it is actually written. Uh, you have got like I always give this Kaweka Biryani what Kaweka Biryani ka references in most of my classes whenever I hear the crow sound. 
So I'm just going to give this reference out here. So if you just got one kaweka anda that is called as a whole note, it is played or it is held for four beats. And then if you've got a kaweka anda with one danda, okay, you've got like an egg with a stick that is called as half note. and it is held for two beats and if you've got one anda which is dipped in a black color dye with one danda you have just got one beat which is also called as a quarter note and then finally smaller to the quarter note you have got an eighth note which is just for half a beat okay and this nice little thing that we have got right there is called as a flag okay and coming on the rest side you have got something like this which is a rest for four beats and we call this as a hanging rest as you can see as it's it's as if it is hanging from the ceiling moving next you have got half rest which is sitting on the floor okay so we call it as a sitting rest which is basically for two beats then we come to the next one which is a quarter rest which is just for one beat and this when you actually go to write it down na we end up writing it like a ha it happens that way okay so that's how you can write that and then after that you have got a eighth rest which is just half a rest ke liye or just half a beat ke liye or just keeping silence and it's mostly written like a seven all right very easy note rest versus values once again music is made up of a uh, playing time and silence and a mixture of both and a combination of both gives you a very great song